I'm just gonna have you help me check the mic. If you wanna say your name and spell it for me. Uh, Jade Carter, J-A-D-E-C-A-R-T-E-R. -E -E and your title? Texas Game Warden, stationed in Tom Green County. Perfect. I'm gonna stand right over here and just ask you a couple of questions. Like I said, it'll be quick and not too hard. Okay. Um, my first one is if you want to tell me a little bit about um, hunting, how hunting controls populations of specifically white-tailed white deer here in Tom Green County. Okay. So uh, hunting in Tom Green County, we have a really healthy population of white-tailed deer here. Um, so that's really good for hunters. Uh, they control that by hunting and hunting reduces populations to a, a, an equilibrium so that we're not going over uh, our capacity for our habitat and stuff like that. It creates better habit, it creates better habitat for one and it creates better deer populations with hunting. And that's actually perfect because it leads right into my next question. Making sure we're rolling here perfect. Um, every person with a license can shoot up to five per year. Is that right? Yes. So every every person with a license in Tom Green County, well, yeah, in Tom Green County you can have up to five five deer annually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, and how many of each? I know there's a certain number of buck versus doe you can have. What is that looking like? So you can have up to a maximum of two buck in Tom Green County. You do get some extra tags for that, but you have to go out of county to do that to shoot those. But five deer in either sex, two bucks limited. Perfect. Can you, I don't know if you can, but I'm maybe, um, possibly, can you define a buck deer? A buck deer is any deer with a protruding antler, hard antler bone coming out of its head. Doesn't matter the length or anything like that. We usually go by if you can hang a ring on it, but even still, if it's protruding through the through the skin, it is then a, considered a buck deer. Perfect. Um, are there any other limitations that we should know about? Obviously, we're getting into that season. Um, are there any limitations? Uh, the limitations is just being ethical about your hunting, uh, wearing your hunter orange, and, and being safe about it as well. Um, it's always good to have a plan in place, uh, letting somebody know that's not going with you so that they know where you're going to be, what time they expect you back, so that you can be safe out there as well. As far as limitations, um, here it, we have a lot of public hunting lands as well. So we have archery, muzzleloader, um, and uh, shotgun at Twin Buttes Marina uh, area, or not Marina Park, but the Twin Buttes area. And then San Angelo State Park also allows you to archery hunt annually. Fantastic. Um, there was another question. What was I thinking? Oh, um, going back to population. What is it looking like this year? I know, was it in the 80s, 90s maybe? There was um, a, a bit of a decline and they were on the endangered list for certain areas at one point. How is the population looking in Tom Green County right now? Um, in Tom Green County, we have a healthy population of white-tailed deer. It's, right now, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's where it needs to be. Um, some places have managed uh, deer lands where they actually have to get people to hunt more out there. So actually, we're not in a decline anymore. We're kind of stable. We're doing really well with our deer populations. Um, yeah, back in the 1980s, 1900s, that's why we have all the rules that we have now because there was a decline. They were going exterminated for, for the right words there. Perfect. Um, I think that might be it. Is there anything else that you'd want to let me know? Anything important about hunting season that you would want the public to understand? Um, just to check on your rules yearly. Each, each time you go out there, make sure you're updating yourself on the rules. Uh, the rules change yearly, especially with our public lands over here. Um, again, we, we just introduced muzzleloader to Twin Buttes area. So again, that's not something that you would know unless you're continually looking through the rules and making sure everything's good. Fantastic. I have one more question.